What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. I'm gonna try to do this in one take so I don't need to edit, but I bought a truckload of Target. It's all case pack product. Cost me 12,400 including delivery and I wanna show you some of what's on it. I mean, I haven't gone through too much. We just brought it in today. So flip you around here. My phone has this weird thing where when I start filming, um, it doesn't actually start filming. Sometimes it takes a second, sometimes it takes 10 seconds. So hopefully, since I couldn't see the screen there, uh, you could get me from the start. Anyway, so here's a pallet of clocks. These are 54 inch wooden Roman numeral clocks. Uh, I don't know how many are on here, 30 maybe. Uh, 54 bucks per um, unit retail. Uh, over here, we've got a bunch of furniture. I took one out here. Nice little bench. Uh, we've got two of those benches, and these say display. Where is it? Oh, your display only, but it does say on the side what it is. It is a gray futon. I got really excited before I saw that. I just saw display only, and it was a big box. Sometimes you get one of the big bullseyes, you know, the target dog on these. I bought, I actually bought a Lowe's truckload <clears throat> from... Um, I don't even remember who I bought it from. This is a couple years ago. And I direct shipped it straight to an auction company in Illinois or Missouri, right on the border. And had them sell it for me. And there was a, a Target dog in it, so I bought it. Even though it was mine, I had to, you know, bid on it. I got it for two bucks. Well, coincidentally, it went missing. And they couldn't ship it to me. They lost it. So they still paid me for it and didn't charge me the two dollars so i still got two bucks for it i went to look on ebay to see if they were worth it if they if i could buy one there they're like a few hundred bucks so i think this is a sketchy auction company i've never done done business with them again but i think they uh kept it to list on ebay how do you lose something that big anyways these are clorox boxes i guess i didn't open one i just assumed they were mops uh got a handful of those these mixed pallets where it's just a whole bunch of random stuff are turning out really well. I, I opened some things. Here's what was in here. Oh, bras. We usually do pretty well with bras on eBay, so those are probably going to go on eBay. Uh, the top half here are these rocking office chairs. Let's see what those look like there. And then the bottom half of this pallet are these fancy paper plates. Great for the warehouse sale. What is this? Oh, some... T-Rex blankets. Only found one box of those on the top of this. Let's walk around over here. Since we're doing this all in one take, I pre-opened a lot of the boxes. Looks like we've got some cushions here. Oh, what's in here? Purses. Black purses. This is from the Bullseye's Playground area. It's decorative fruit. Probably not going to go for much, but it'll sell in the sale. Uh, we've got a whole case of these nail clippers. 36, I think it said. Uh, 24 per case, or for this whole case. Looks like an accent table. Here we've got some blackout curtains. We've got uh, swimsuit tops. And Cat and Jack apparel. Uh, open there we go little sweaters uh, i think that's it for this pallet over here you can see uh, i just opened one halfway down we've got some of these laptop backpacks uh these should do pretty well these might even be worth putting online i'll have to make a judgment call on that on top here can openers right there nothing too special about it these are going to be a tough sell just because of the volume but it's a can opener. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I saw a corkscrew in there. So can openers. What's oh, weird is I could have sworn this said iron. Yeah, room essentials, iron. You can't really see that. So I wonder, there you go, room essentials, iron. I wonder if the box was mislabeled and that's why we got it. And you know, I'm not sure what's in those bottom boxes. I don't think I opened, oh, that's right, bar stools. Uh, you can look that up. Um, just Google it. It's like an industrial look. So a bunch of bar stools. Those I'll probably send to a consignment shop. Uh, over here, we've got some toys on this one. These uh, Toy Story 
figures, uh, a whole bunch of folders. Fancy ones like this and not so fancy ones. Those I don't know what I'm gonna do with, but we've got a ton of them. I may sell them by the case on $10 day. I don't think I actually opened that, so I don't know what it is. Oh, this, I can't get this open, so that'll be a mystery. Over here, um, I found a couple of cases of yarn. Again, this a lot of this stuff is intended for the warehouse sale, and I think it's going to do really well in it. Uh, lamps. There are a bunch of lamps on this pallet. I haven't actually taken it out, so I don't know how it looks, but I'm seeing a whole bunch of them. There's one. There's one. That might be one. This is a whole pallet of pillows. It actually tipped over, and since it was still wrapped, we just lifted it onto here. But it's these Serta pillows. I believe there are three to a case. Um, five to a case. I think that's what that cryptic thing means. Uh, this one had two, and two fell out when we loaded it. So maybe that one just had four, the others had five. I don't know. I feel like it should be more, actually. Maybe it's 12. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, Serta pillows. These should do well in the sale. Over here, we've got... Uh, these swimsuits. Now, what's nice about these is they're assorted sizes. You can see right here. Uh, so we've got this. The ones on the bottom are going to be swimsuits also. The DPCI is one number different, so it's probably... What in the world is that thing? That looks like something that I don't want to see, like a tarantula that got stepped on. These came from Pennsylvania, so I don't think it's a tarantula. But it's probably the same thing, just a different color on the bottom. That's going to be a tougher sale just because of the volume of them, uh, but we might sit on those till spring. This palette, <clears throat> we've got these foot baths, you know, this whole layer. This upper layer is a ton of these clothes pins. I don't know how well they'll do, but they might have a magnet or something on it. Yeah, clothes pin magnets, so that might help out a little bit. The middle layer are these 3M, it looks like a highlighter with the flags on it. Uh, that's down here. And then this layer are these um, B dot, I think is how you say the brand, uh, but the cement trucks. Uh, a few cases, looks like six cases of those. Over here, the top layer, we've got bed sheets. This is California King gray bed sheets. And from here down, we've got Swimsuit bottoms. That's gonna be a tough one just because there's so many of them. 18 bucks retail. Um, I don't, oh, they're all size medium also. So I might sell this pallet as a whole with the exception, you know, take the bed sheets off and then sell all the swimsuits as a pallet for like 50 cents a piece. Um, uh, I think there's like 2,000 of them. I don't remember. Well, 1,440 units, that's what it is. 1,440 of these. So at 50 cents a piece, if I sold them, it'd be like 720 bucks. So moving on over here, this one I went through quite a bit because it's a mixed palette and I've been finding some good stuff on here. We've got this cat tunnel here. We've got, this is apparel. Um, look at this vacuum box is pretty beat up, but it should be fine. None of this is returns. It's just uh, mostly case damage, not even box damage. We've got a stain remover here. We've got some kids shoes, a case there. More purses. I think these are the same as the black ones I showed, but they're tan. So put them together, you got yourself a black and tan. We've got some large Nerf guns here. I wonder if I can pull this out or if it's going to be caught. Very large Nerf guns. Uh, what else? Uh, what's this? Uh, I think this is a piece of furniture that I probably shouldn't have opened. I didn't notice what it is. This, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's a microwave, but it's a non-functioning one. It's uh, like for displays. So, I don't know, maybe some home stager will be able to use it, or a buddy of mine owns a consignment store. Maybe he can use it in his store. We've got kitchen towel sets. We've got socks. This is for some college team. Uh, doesn't say on there. And the suffocation warning is blocking that, so we can't. It doesn't look like it says on there either, but those will probably do all right. Meal prep containers. This, these are really nice. They're glass, kind of like Pyrex. Um, I dropped one from up there and on the concrete, and it didn't break. So they're probably decent quality. There's two in that case, and then another two more there. Uh, more Nerf guns. What is this? A Barbie airplane. 
some looks like taco shirts. There's a lobster driving a monster truck with a taco on the back. It's a kid size though. I would totally wear that. These, you can see October 4th of last year is when they could put them out. Star Wars shirts. Probably gonna look these up on eBay, but assorted sizes. A couple of these mixers, except one, the box is pretty bad. This is just coffee mugs. Nothing too special there. And here, I don't pull up. Oh, maybe I did open this one. Oh, more folders. Uh, what else? Let's just keep going down this line. Uh, this is furniture of some sort. Here we've got, uh, I think, pencil cases, Q-tips. Did I open any of these? I think these are both folders. Here we've got some sort of football case of those. This was another mixed palette that I pulled through. I've got three cases of this. We'll get to the other side and I'll show you what that is in a little bit. Uh, some garland and uh, this is more of those laptop. Oh, wait, no. That was somewhere else. This, large tote bags. Uh, what do we have here? These are both the same. Detroit Tigers shirts for children. Uh, some lunch boxes, soft padded lunch boxes. Is this open? This is open. Oh, I kind of need one of these. Save Ferris, 86. Then a box full of HBA here. This is gonna be good. You can get some like holiday themed stuff, extra strength Tylenol, and the dates are good for almost two years. Zyrtec down there, uh, melatonin, allergy relief, all sorts. This stuff is gonna do really well in the sale. And then here we've got some Christmas bowls. Uh, let's see, up here, what was this? Oh, I'll show you one of those in a little bit. Um, it's just shirts. Uh, some toys. Uh, looks like a lot of these bottom boxes from here. Maybe these also are going to be these. Uh, or is that a wristband? I don't know. Um, and then on top, you know, I don't know what this is. Uh, extra firm, probably more pillows. Over here on this pallet, looks like some sort of, oh, soccer balls. Adidas soccer balls. You know, I don't think I really went through anything on this palette. Here we've got some toys, uh, more toys up here. On the bottom, maybe it was a different palette. Oh, here we go. More of those Toy Story things. We've got laptop, uh, or not laptop fans, fans that will run on USB, Pokemon sunglasses, dental floss. We got a few cases of that there. All of these, they say display only, but it's a little canvas storage container. We've got picture frames, look like pretty nice ones. A couple cases of those. And you know, some of this, I didn't look on the bottom. I don't know uh, what some of this stuff is. Uh, we've got waterproof phone cases. This, oh, hold on. I didn't open this one. Hold on. This is, ugh. this looks really good. I swear I didn't plant this. Xbox wireless controllers, brand new factory sealed, although a couple of these have some box damage. These, oh man, these are gonna be good. Those are gonna be really good. I hope there are more cases of those on here. Uh, let's see, that box has a big orange label on it. That might be the only one of those. This is gonna be something else, but looks like phone cases. Uh, Apple brand phone cases though. So these could probably go on eBay. Here we've got cotton balls and sweaters. Boy, I really hope I find Whatever this is, this might be like a dollhouse or something. Our generation, it's a big box. Look at that, that is awesome. Uh, here's a hard sided suitcase, just one in the box, so it's a big one. We've got some lawn chairs up here. These are kind of like the vintage ones. 
Um, now this, I've got three cases of this. Whenever I see this, something like that, I know it's gonna be good unless it's a reused box. Look at this. This is a feminine hygiene product. I found some of these on the last Target load and it was like four or five of them. They sold instantly for like 25 bucks each. Uh, these ones are a little different, same brand and everything. Should sell around the same price. I don't know how well they'll sell because there are only three solds, but there's only one person active on, on it. So I don't know, but these, I mean, how many do we have here? Does it say on the box or am I gonna have to count? Uh, it does not say, does it say here? No. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six by four, that's 24, 48 per box. I've got three boxes, so that's 144, 144 of them. Um, if I did my math right, I might be way off. I'm bad at doing math on the spot. We've got some Q-tips over here, some more furniture on the bottom, but those, could be a lot of money. I mean, if I'm getting 10 bucks each, that's 1,400 bucks. 20 bucks each is $2,800. And you know, I paid 12 grand for this, 12,400. Here we've got, I think this is a heating pad. Yeah, a little heating pad, more furniture pieces, a plush blanket. These aren't amazing, but they'll sell. Uh, some more swimsuit bottoms. And these are, I'm not gonna pull them out, but they're four trays for like breakfast in bed. And I go, oh yeah, this is the furniture I mentioned. Here's a pallet of these Arctic Air, uh, little air conditioner units. I hear they are terrible. Uh, I can't pull it with one hand, but I've got a whole pallet of them. Those will definitely hang on to until summer. Now let's move on to the last row here. Uh, we've got, looks like four cases of these V-necks, 12 of them. They do feel very soft. And then on the bottom, it's all Kleenex. I don't know how we're going to market it because it's the individual little boxes. Uh, maybe we'll sell it by the case for 10 bucks a case. I don't know, because I think these are probably like 50 cents each. Oh, there's 24 of them. So 50 cents each in the store is, um, I think that means 24 units. Uh, 50 cents each in the store is 12 bucks. So $10 a day for the case wouldn't be too bad. Some more apparel. What do we have? So this apparel is what's down here. And on the top, rugs, uh, little bath rugs, the hearth and, hearth and hand brand. Over here, we've got some toys on the top, some wicker baskets and in fact, these might all be wicker baskets. They might be, I'm not certain, but I think they are. This, I actually didn't look at what's on top here. This is some sort of patio umbrella. These green bags are, in my opinion, really ugly rugs, but they're rugs. I'm not sure what's in this. Probably another futon or something like that here. Uh, let's see, threshold, non re oh, because the display just is non-retail, so. Piece of furniture of some sort. These, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Did they double up? No, we've got six, there's seven. There's one on the back. Seven of these, they are like uh, child's play kitchens. These are going for 109 online. I couldn't find them on Target's website, but they were 109 on Amazon. Uh, and I've got seven of them, so you know, maybe I'll sell this. This pallet, by the way, was absolutely terrible. Worst pallet I've ever had to move because the bottom is weights. I mean, it's a great pallet. These will do really well. Two eight pound weights per case. I had to rip it open and see what it was, but this pallet was impossible to move. Um, what are these? I can't remember how many I said were here. I did the math. I'm not gonna do the math again. This, I actually didn't look these up, but the DPCI is one number off from the clocks. So it's probably the same clocks, just a different color. Here, top half is more yarn, and actually it looks like it's not the whole top half because this box looks different. Tumblers. Uh, let's see if I can do this without hurting myself. Rock bar cooler. I don't know what that is. Let's see. This brings me back to when all of my videos were live. And so you'd see me struggling to open a box or something. Okay, so just drinking glasses. Looks like two retail units. 
And then there's other stuff. Oh, I don't want to drop that. Other stuff in here, too, that I haven't gone through. Uh, the bottom, uh, that B dot again. So this could be uh, potentially more of those cement trucks or maybe something else. It says there's six to a case, so it's going to be something else. Those won't fit in there. Over here, we've got on top these dinosaurs in this fancy packaging. Um, and then we've got a ton of these, which are trolls. Oh, thank goodness it didn't cut my video, so my battery's low. Uh, so trolls, I don't know how that's going to look, uh, because I get the notification saying your battery's got 20% left. Um, and I'm not going to go back and rewatch this. Now these on the bottom are more trolls. So this is a case pack load. I had the opportunity to decide, do I want a case pack load? or a uh, shelf pulls load. And it's because shelf pulls load will have some returns, but mostly shelf pulls. And I've bought those before and done well. My thought process was our warehouse sale starts December 3rd, and it is currently November 20th. And then we've got Thanksgiving in the middle. Tim's off Monday because he's going hunting. So that means Tim will only be working Tuesday and Wednesday next week because Thanksgiving and Black Friday we have off. And then we've got three days the week after before the sale. So we don't have a lot of time to sort through this stuff. That's why I chose the case pack load because we could sort through it much, much quicker. Um, beyond that, we're pretty much ready to go. All we really need to do is sort through the target stuff. And obviously it's not all going in the sale. You know, furniture and high dollar stuff isn't. But you can see back here, all of this stuff is sorted for the sale. I believe we've got some more pals throughout there and then in the front warehouse. So we're pretty ready here for this sale. My hope is um, by around Thanksgiving, we're set up and ready to go. You can see we had a water leak, a really bad one not long ago. We marked the floor. The first one, this whole area was a lake. Like there was an inch of water in this whole corner. It must sit lower. And then... The roofer came, they fixed it, and then it started leaking again. So we put a whole bunch of buckets down and got most of it, except for this little crime scene here. Um, that showed up overnight. So I marked the tape around where that, that was. One more thing. Boy, this is a mess. I'm going to have to shift some of this over before I go home. One more thing. Um, down here, that pallet racking is going to get moved. And then you can kind of see a door entrance there, which I'm knocking out. I already took down the shelving today on my side of the of that wall. And then I won't need to walk around the building. Yeah, you can see there are more pallets here ready to go. I won't need to walk around the building with these pallets. So that's kind of exciting, especially as it gets colder out. So anyways, that is the Target case pack load. Um, I know I said I'm not going to do any more videos until after the new year, most likely. But... These are pretty easy. Um, I get to quick go through and show you what I found. I also, uh, a friend of mine wanted to see what they look like uh, because he's thinking about getting a couple. So I had to do this anyways. But uh, if I can do one take shots like this, maybe we can do more videos. Anyways, that is the target load. Again, I paid $12,400. That includes freight. I believe it was $10,500 plus freight, if I remember right. And I'm very happy with it. I think it's a lot of volume and there's going to be a lot more mystery in these. Like, I, what is this? Lighting, it's probably a lamp. There's going to be a lot more mystery in there. This is probably underwear. This is a Hanes box. Hanes and Champion, and I'm not going to even try to get that out. So anyways, hopefully we find more of those controllers. I think that was on this pallet, right? I think, yeah, it was this pallet. Or that, yeah, it was that one. Let's walk around. Yeah, that pallet. So hopefully we find more of those on there. But if not, it's still a good load. So the 3rd through the 13th, we're doing our warehouse sale. If I don't talk to you by then, uh, check out Wisconsin Liquidation Center. That's the Facebook page where we promote them. What is that? Backpacks, maybe? Clothing? I don't know. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you soon.